What is up, Mama Llamas? Welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Anomaly, but you can call me Allie for short. What's up, guys? How you doing? I know it's been a hot minute without uh, your girl, Antonia. I, m I miss my baby girl, Antonia, so much. She is my pride and joy. Okay, like dead ass. I love her. But anyway, so if you could not <laughs> tell by the title, um, this is actually going to be Antonia's brand. Well, not brand new. It's it's already pre-built, <laughs> um, but her new house that she's gonna move in um in del sol valley so i know it's been a hot minute without antonia um so because of that i kind of wanted to like kind of like pretend and make believe that just like it's been a while without the let's play antonia i'm kind of thinking that like it's been like a few weeks or months that antonia has been gone um so i like to think right now that she's actually getting a really um, well established in her writing career and writing books and stuff that she was actually able to afford a small home in Del Sol Valley um, and Del Sol Valley is like the hub of everything um, like famous I, I don't know she's not famous she's, I don't think she's going to be famous um, I, I don't know maybe I'm not sure I know what I'm trying to say I'm trying to say that Del Sol Valley is like the hub of new opportunities and I think that moving into this house um, will be really good for An 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 Antonia and I kind of made it a little bit like Christmassy too because it is winter um, in Del Sol Valley right now so I'm really excited and I did give Antonia a little bit of a new makeover too since you know it's been a few weeks since we've seen her I gave her a haircut she got she got a lob she got a long bob I'll put a picture like right here so you can see but she is so cute like I love her I literally love her to death she looks good in anything which I'm really jealous of but that's fine I will be putting the name of the creator of like the shell of this house in the description below if you want to um, download the house itself all I changed was the interior I completely like demolished um, the interior and then I changed like some stuff on the outside but they did an amazing job it's such a beautiful house um so i will be putting that in the description so i know this is kind of like a big step for antonia and you're like whoa wait last time we saw her like she was barely getting by in her apartment um but like i said you know it's been oh it's been a couple weeks it's been a couple months um you know like life life goes on life moves on and she has just gotten really well established and i really cannot wait for her to write um, her own book about her life and her adoption and whatnot. Speaking of her adoption and birth parents and stuff, um, she has only found Kennedy so far. Which, if you don't know who Kennedy was or is, um, she is Antonia's third cousin, I believe. Um, but Antonia's kind of having a little bit more trouble right now finding anybody else. Um, so we will just see how that progresses. I'm really interested in seeing if she'll maybe try a different kind of like ancestry um, website or company or whatever. I'm not really sure. Um, we'll just have to see how it goes. But let's see. What else do I have to talk about about Antonia? Because she has something else. Ooh, shoot. I know. Okay, y'all. Antonia finally, finally broke up with Tag. Oh my gosh. Like the, oh, I, I despise Tag. I did not like him. And if you've never even watched Antonia, which you should probably stop. Okay, don't stop watching, but like it, this is like kind of spoilers and you probably won't understand what's going on, but Tag was just a horrible, mm, he's not a horrible human being per se, but he is, he was a very horrible boyfriend, uh, air quotes around boyfriend because he, he didn't act like much of a boyfriend. Like I can't count, um, or I can count the amount of times they've kissed on like one hand. And, they, and by now they've been dating for like what like three or four months um, so they finally broke up which Antonia did it Antonia broke up with him which I was surprised about because like I don't know he just wasn't feeling it and I was really expecting him to make the first move when it comes to like breaking up but no Antonia was like I am tired of this shit <laughs> like you are not treating me like your girlfriend so I'm gonna go find somebody who will <laughs> oh my gosh the tea um so yeah, Antonia's single right now. Um, she is 22 right now, I think, but her birthday's coming up actually. It's in December, so that's really exciting. It's gonna be before Christmas and like, she loves Christmas and her birthday's before Christmas. It's just, it's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be a lot. So um, yeah, I'm really excited. It's gonna be a eventful uh, two weeks 
for the season. Um, but speaking of seasons, so when I opened my game, I just noticed that there was a new update. I guess it's just for the Snowy Escape Pack. Um, but something, I think my game glitch, I, I took out all my mods. That's why I'm really confused. Um, it's, it's winter in my game right now but for some reason it's showing like a flower like the spring flower for the season and i'm just kind of confused because like it's not spring um so i don't know if that's like maybe it's my ui cheats i'm not sure if they've updated the ui cheats mod yet because i know sometimes i can kind of mess with the ui and stuff um, but i've never had that happen with an update so it's just really weird so we'll just i don't know we'll have to see what happens but i don't know that new update kind of scares me like it's actually kind of weird seeing your sims actually have stories and like personalities and stuff that's so sad isn't it like i don't know but i'm excited i'm excited to see how it goes i'm not sure if i'm going to get snowy escape as soon as it comes out um just because i'm trying to save a little bit of money right now but we'll see i really want it it's such a beautiful pack like the world um mount kamarebi i think i'm not sure if i pronounce that wrong i'm really sorry <laughs> um i haven't really researched that much into it this is the first pack that i kind of haven't really paid much attention to um even though it's probably the best one that has come out in the past like year um i don't know why but like I said, I cannot wait to get it. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, but as for the rest of the updates for Antonia's life, um, like Mariella in the last episode, if you um, need a little bit of a refresher, um, Mariella like got so pissed off at Antonia because um, Antonia didn't tell Mariella or her parents that she was looking into um, her birth parents or just her birth like um family in general and so mariella was really upset by that um but i will update you guys um with that in the next episode and kind of explain what's going on with that as for her book club with arthur it's going so amazingly well and her and arthur have gotten really really close lately um shared by their <laughs> their both of their love of books um but they're also just really i don't know the chemistry there it's it's really strong um and their friendship is really strong too so I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with that. We'll see. Um, better friends or better lovers, maybe? I don't know. We're going to have to see how that plays out. Um, but I gave Arthur a little bit of a makeover, too. He kind of cut his dreads a little bit, and he wears, like, a bandana now. Um, he's super cute. I love him. But, yeah, um, I don't think I gave anybody else a makeover. That's, <laughs> that's pretty much it. I'm doing Antonia's bedroom right now. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, and then I think that's the end of it. I do the bedroom and then I do a little bit of like yard work and that's pretty much it. Um, but I love her house. There's lots of color in it, which I really like. And I, I kind of steer from or steer away from a lot. I don't use a lot of color in my builds. Um, so this <laughs> this house just makes me so happy. It's full of color and brightness and it's just fun. And it really screams Antonia. Like she, she loves color and she's such a colorful human being, if that makes sense. Like there's so many aspects to her that I just love um, and really appreciate about her. And I hope you do too. Um, but I especially love that little blanket. I downloaded a blanket. It's on my Tumblr. I reblogged it on my Tumblr like a few days ago. But a little like throw blanket you can put over the couches. Oh, so cute. I'm not usually a build CC kind of girl, but something about that throw blanket was just calling my freaking name. I swear. So I used it. I used it. But welcome back to Antonia's Legacy. It's going on strong now, now that I finally um, have the <laughs> have the drive to make videos. It's not like I haven't in the past few weeks. I've just been sick and dealing with a lot of uh, personal issue, not issues, but just personal stuff. Um, but yeah, guys, so I'm going to end this voice over here. Oh my gosh, we got a little wreath on the front door. It's so cute. Okay, <laughs> anyways, I'm going to end the video here, like I said. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to become a Mama Llama. Bye, guys.